On this episode of JNY Style Miles, it's all about packing. We're gonna show you how to pack the perfect suitcase with easy tips from Real Simple Magazine, plus my JNY Style Miles tips to help you create multiple looks without packing your entire closet. Hey, I'm JNY Style Guy Lloyd Boston. Now, when a trip is looming, whether for work or for pleasure, many people get overwhelmed with the packing process. We want to give you some great tips and tricks to make packing simple and easy. So we brought in an expert from Real Simple Magazine, Carly Zip. Hey there. Good to see you. Good to see you too. And she's going to help us get the most style miles when traveling, right? Yeah, well thank you so much for having me, Lloyd. My pleasure. So first, identifying the main purpose of the trip will really help to segment out exactly what you need to bring along with the amount of time you'll be gone. All right, that's a good point. Now, if it's a business trip, you have to think, will you be in meetings and seminars all day? Is there an event or a gala that you're going to have to attend? Additionally, if you're on vacation, the destination will really set the tone here, right? Absolutely. So if you're visiting Paris, maybe you pack a little differently than visiting Miami. I vote for Miami, I don't know about you. <laughs> but I totally get your point, okay. All right, now let's pack. I'm ready, let's do it. Now we've pulled together some great looks from Jones, New York today to create a suitcase that will cover any woman's needs and is long on style miles. That sounds great. I know, here are the five key pieces that most women have in their closet already to consider. A crisp white shirt and maybe one in another color too. Dark denim, they'll do double duty from weeknight to weekend. A matte jersey dress, this fabric is perfect for any climate black pants in a seasonless fabric. A t-shirt, a solid scoop neck is perfect. Now let's take some new pieces from JNY. A twin set, these two pieces will coordinate everything. The classic trench, one that can stand up in any weather. A wrap, the perfect accessory. Soft jersey pants. Getting style miles out of your packing is what it's all about, so let's see how we can make a bunch of looks for any event during your trip using what we've selected, and then we can get packing, all right? Let's do this. All right. and other items as layers in the cake. Suit cake. Yeah, a cake has different ingredients and different layers, so that's what we're gonna do with the clothes. Okay, that's a good tip to remember, that's easy. All yeah. Right, we can do that. You're gonna put it all together in just three simple steps. So for the bottom layer, you're gonna put shoes and garments that can be rolled up easily, like t-shirts, sweaters, sweatpants, and jeans. So soft things and shoes on the bottom level. Right. Okay. Rolling is better than folding because it saves space and helps prevent wrinkles. Plus, you can fit rolled up garments in tricky spaces a lot easier if you roll them up. Yeah, and most people can roll easier than they can fold. Anyone yeah. can roll. Anyone can All right. just kind of roll with it. Got that. Remember, shoes take up a lot of space because of their awkward shape, so stick to the rule of three. One casual sandal or, lo or loafer, a pair of sneakers, and an evening shoe. Gotta have an evening shoe, ladies, that's yes, important. Yes, you gotta take yourself out on the All town. right. For your middle layer, you're gonna fold stiffer garments, such as dressy pants, skirts, starch cotton shirts, and blazers. You wanna conserve space here by stacking the garments one on top of each other very tightly, kind of as how you see them here. Okay. But you also wanna alternate waist with hems, so that space isn't wasted piling thick hens on top of each other. Never thought of that. That is really smart. Yeah, because the hen is going to take up a little more space. So do one this way, one that way. One this way, one that balances way. balances it out. Right. It's going to be so really smart. even. I like that. Me too. Position the pile flush with the suitcase, draping leftover fabric over the opposite end. So basically just think about putting it in the suitcase and then anything that's left over, you're going to fold it on top of each other. Perfect. So it keeps it secure on the second layer. Right. All right. All about the layering. Wrap the draping ends of the pile into the center. Now for the most important layer, cover your items with a dry cleaning bag. You want to think about this like Botox for your clothes. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't like a little Botox, right? <laughs> you're just going to go to your local dry cleaner. You don't have to get anything fancy. 
And then because of the bag's slippery surface, folded clothes don't stay in one place long enough for creases to set. Very smart. But if you want to get a little even more of a packing perfecto, you can put these dry cleaning bags throughout each layer of your suitcase. Also it keeps the categories of clothes separated. Right, and it actually helps with wrinkling. It's really gonna just cut that down to the minimal effect. Also, if you wanna take clothes out of your garment bag, this is easy, because all you have to do is lift up one layer. Ah, and you have them all separated already versus digging through. Right, exactly. And here are some quick ideas for packing your products. You wanna opt for travel size multitaskers, like a tinted moisturizer that also serves as a foundation. If you're flying with a carry-on, the current regulations for liquids are three ounce containers stored in a one quart clear plastic zip top. Got it, that's important. Keep everything organized by grouping similar products in resealable bags, like one for your cosmetics and one for your hair products. Okay. Keep everything like with like. Tuck the bags into the side corners of your suitcase or on a zippered outside pocket for easy access through the security checkpoints at the airport. Got it. You know, all I can say, Carly, is wow. We have packing down to a science. I love that. Now here are my JNY Style Miles tips for making any trip a breeze. Beat wrinkles. You don't want to have to spend any time on your vacation or your business trip ironing anything. Pack easy care shirts, matte jersey dresses, and denim with some stretch. Simply unpack, hang and then leave in the bathroom to steam while you shower and voila, you're ready to walk out the door in an instant. Double duty winners. Think of items that will go the extra mile when you're packing. So you got wraps, jersey pants, and twin sets. These items give you endless style miles by simply being able to work in any situation. The wrap goes from the plane to a breezy night on the beach, and the jersey pants are great for sightseeing as well as for exercise. Twin sets can work in so many ways. You can keep them paired or you can break them up. They work in a million different ways. Pick a color scheme as well. When I travel, I always pick a color scheme. Then I select all the items I'm gonna bring to work back to that same palette. This goes for your jewelry and your shoes too. Flesh tone kitten heels, athleisure flats, and other versatile selections will match everything you bring and leave extra room for your special purchases as well. Packing doesn't have to be a chore, and you don't have to bring your entire closet on a trip. Just follow my simple J&Y style miles tips. And a special thanks to Carly Zip and Real Simple Magazine for their easy packing advice. Thanks for joining us on this episode of J&Y Style Miles. Until next time, I'm Lloyd Boston. To find all the great packing tips from today's episode, visit realsimple.com.